Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Harrington. I'm Eli Newberg. And we are um, this summer's Otherwise Actors Term Project captains. That's true. Um, <laughs> the Otherwise Actors Term Project is, um, a, is a group of people who meet outside the Otherwise Actors um, to work on a project that's something outside of the normal theater, the stuff we normally do here. It's completely outside of rehearsals, it's completely done on our own time, it's completely student directed. It's pretty cool. Should I explain what we did? <laughs> well, basically, instead of just doing a different kind of theater, like absurdism or musical or something, we did a movie. Well, four, actually. This <laughs> summer's term project was a film project. We explored several different genres of film. Um, we created four short films in all. Each um, was completely student created from pre-production to post-production to the whole, the whole aspect of things. I wrote most of them. He wrote, I directed, we all contributed to the storylines. Um, uh, uh, if you guys look in your pamphlets, I'm sure you've already been notified by now, but there are tickets to the Otherwise Actors um, Turn Project Mil Movie Show Night, which is going to be this Thursday, this Thursday at Paragon Theaters at 7 p.m. That time. Just say you're here for the Turn Project, you can get in for free. Um, we will be selling DVDs and stuff like that, and you know, free will donations are always accepted, but it is completely free, so you guys don't have a reason not to come. Um, let me grab stuff, but they wanted you to tell them what they're about to see tonight. Okay, so basically tonight we're going to give you a, just a little taste of one of the films we created. Uh, we investigated several different genres, as he said before. This is our black comedy, which is basically uh, a comedy that deals with serious tones, and usually the laughs are there to kind of hit the point home. Uh, basically, this is about a man named John, who lives in the future in the year 2089, where people uh, medicate themselves for everything from illnesses to negative emotions. <laughs> there cool. Yep, um, one day, uh, the thing that sets off the plot, something goes wrong one day, and he gains a completely new perspective on what this whole world is like outside of the realm of drugs, um, really. Yeah. We're just going to wait for the projector to turn on the <laughs> Actually, it's a good thing that it's taking so long because we needed time to change into our costumes, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no, we just wanted to show them here because we're so proud of it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so without further ado, here's um, an opening, here's the, a trailer scene from um, our film, our um, black comedy titled Life's a Hill. Take it one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, meet John. He lives in beautiful, idyllic in the year 2089. Now John, why don't you show us around, starting with your fabulous living quarters. <laughs> this is John's roommate, Sam. They're the best of friends. Together, they make sure the other gets to work on time, as well as giving each other a company and emotional support. Aren't friends great? <laughs> oh no, John! You're almost late for work. You'd better get going. But first, you'd better take your morning preparation pill, specially designed to keep you awake and attentive for hours. That's better. Good thing you have your portable dispenser on you at all times, should you need anything. Here's John's office. How's work going, John? That's great! Notice how John's entire office is specially designed for efficiency and comfort. Uh-oh! Who could that be? Oh wow! The supervisor? But what is he doing here? A promotion! <laughs> Life really is going your way.
It's been a long day, hasn't it, John? <laughs> Sweet dreams? Isn't life grand? No stress, no worries, no war, no personality. Attention, attention. A class three storm has gathered around apartment block seven. Residents, please stay away from any windows and find a safe location to stop the storm. Thank you. It's unfortunate that no one can hear these storms coming. What? It sounds like the end of the world out there. I agree. I agree? That's all you have to say about it? I agree? It was quite terrifying. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps you should take some kind of depressant or anti-anxiety pill. Panic is not a pleasant emotion to experience in abundance. Yeah, yes, uh, of course. In fact, I'm feeling a fair bit of panic myself. Perhaps an anti-anxiety pill will suffice. Uh, uh, Sam, I don't think you really need one right now. I disagree. My heart rate hasn't risen this far above normal levels since that time I forgot to sanitize my hands after work. <laughs> Much better. And one more thing, who's Sam? You are. No, I am unit 729-00-230-267. 267 for sure. No, you're Sam. I know, I'm your best friend. I remember your name. Are you feeling okay, 213? Excuse me? Did you take your morning preparation pill yet? No, I, I tried, but this morning when the storm came, it fell on the sink. And Wow, 213. I always knew you were clumsy, but not this clumsy. <laughs> That's definitely a design flaw. Perhaps you should just synthesize a Yeah, Yes, of, of course. Why, did, why didn't I think of this before? What? That's strange. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Perhaps it was damaged in the earthquake. I, I don't know, but how is that supposed to help me? I, I just need the pill. Are you sure you don't no, need that? No, I need that pill. I just need this pill. I'm really not that anxious. You don't understand. I keep trying to tell you. I'm really not that anxious. You're not that anxious either. But if it was anxious, it would go away. If I had the morning pill, I would just need the morning pill. Like, every day, so you'd be happy. And I could go to work and I could be... I'll talk to the supervisor. The supervisor knows what to do, right? Are you sure that's a wise choice? No. What other choice do I have, right? Unit 213, I have to go to work. I'll find out anything I can about your issue while I'm there. Okay? 213? Until then, I suggest you go to work as well. You've already broken from routine, but if you just stay the course. My name is John. You'll be fine. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.